Hi, this is Jeff Weiss. I'm standing in the greenhouse at Emily Oaks Nature Center where I work. And uh, I'm going to conduct a little lesson now on the uh, propagation of native plants. So what I'm going to do first is to demonstrate the uh, technique of stratification. And in this box I have uh, various species of seeds uh, native plants that were collected in the fall, and I am going to plant a gentian. This one is called uh, bottle gentian, and uh, I know that because the uh, letters G E N A N D are on the bottle. That's gentiana andrusii. So, uh, what I'm going to do to uh, stratify this is to prepare the seeds to go into a um, moist, um, uh, cool place so that they can uh, begin to uh, imbibe moisture and prepare to, uh, to germinate. So I'm going to, I'm not going to count the seeds, but I am going to pour them out uh, in a controlled amount. And this is a, pre a pretty fine seed. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hope for 32 plants to eventually come out of this to fill a, a, a tray of, of pots. But I'm going to actually select something more like 200 seeds uh, to go in here in case things do not germinate. In any event, the seeds are here. I'm now putting them into a plastic baggie uh, that I've marked uh, with Gen and and some uh, instructions about uh, the germination, uh, the requirements of that plant to break dormancy. And where I get that information is from this book. It's called the Prairie Moon Nursery Catalog, and for several hundred species, it has uh, very specific information about how to overcome dormancy and to get those uh, seeds started. So the seeds are in the baggie. Uh, next step is to give them some uh, media uh, to keep them uh, moist. I'm pouring in some sand. I uh, sterilized the sand um, to keep wheat seeds out. And I just pour a very small quantity in, in there with the seeds. I spritz them a little bit. And mix them up. And this uh, set of seeds is now ready to go into the refrigerator uh, for 60 days of cold stratification. And I'm going to put it in with the other bags of seeds that are already uh, uh, stratifying. And now I'm going to go to the next uh, technique, which is um, scarification. So scarification uh, is another way of breaking dormancy for certain seeds that have a, uh, a thick, hard seed coat. And these seeds happen to be from redbud, um, Circus canadensis. And uh, it's a uh, legume, uh, and they have very hard... Uh, uh, shell or testa around the seeds. And what I'm going to do in this case now is to scarify them, uh, break, uh, scratch the seed coat with uh, two blocks of sandpaper. So I'm going to gently, fairly gently, rub them between these two blocks. And after a while, you can see that I have uh, scratched a little bit of the seed coat off, and now uh, these seeds are also uh, going to be ready to be stratified. Um, sometimes multiple techniques are required to break uh, dormancy and to get seeds to germinate, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that a little later. I'm going to show you something else instead. And what I'm going to show you is um, a couple of plants uh, that I'm taking out of uh, stratification and starting in a seed tray. And those two plants are right here, and uh, there's no magic to this, but I generally uh, will start two different species in one seed tray. And the reason why is because I'm, I'm not producing mass quantities of these seeds. I'm just trying to get a nice uh, tray of uh, wildflowers uh, for our plant sale or for planting on our grounds here at the Nature Center. So I'm not looking for hundreds or thousands of plants like a commercial greenhouse. 
I'm looking for uh, ultimately to grow maybe 2,000, 3,000 plants in the course of a, of a year. Now this first seed is um, Erigeron yuccifolium, also known as Rattlesnake Master. And uh, that, this just come out of the refrigerator. I'm going to pour the sand and seed mix, uh, moist sand and seed mix on the tray. This is a fairly large uh, seed, it's a prairie plant, and so I'm going to mix it up uh, into the soil. The really small seeds um, stay on top of the soil, and I wouldn't mix them in because they might not germinate without uh, sunlight, uh, another frequent requirement of seeds to break dormancy and to germinate. Um, the second one is, um, it's a uh, native clematis uh, uh, called Virgin's Bower. It's a vine, uh, a, a common plant in uh, some of our savannas and woodlands. And uh, this one has a smallish seed, but it also has uh, uh, some uh, residue hanging on. So I'm going to split this up, get it uh, distributed around the... Uh, around the seed tray so there's some even germination and uh, label both sets of plants. I've prepared my, uh, my labels ahead of time and for everything I, I plant I put in two labels. So on this one I'm going to bury one in there uh, out of sight and then one in sight so if this one gets uh, pushed off in the course of handling I'll still be able to identify the seedlings growing in this tray. So the next step, I have a, uh, a hose, but I'll just uh, show the essential step of, uh, of watering these uh, seedlings, or watering these seeds, and uh, finishing up on the steps of breaking dormancy for these plants. Uh, watering is an art and a science. Um, we talked about it in an earlier lesson, and uh, it's important to pay attention to both uh, the frequency and the amount of water that you apply to plants and in the case of uh, native plants uh, to make sure that they have a chance to dry out and to prevent uh, fungus and uh, other diseases from taking your, your seeds. Now, uh, the next step of what I'm going to show you is going uh, from seedlings and I have a nice uh, tray of uh, seed plants that I put in last year. This is actually Aster tarmacoides, also known as Heath Aster. And I've prepared a tray of 32 uh, pots to um, repot these. Uh, so these uh, seedlings are ready to be transplanted into pots and prepared for sale. And what I'm trying to do here, show you, is I just use a common teaspoon, but I try to get well under it so I get all of the roots uh, caught up. And I'm putting that um, plant into a pot uh, that I've already filled half full of soil. And now I'm just going to top that off. Water it in. And I've got my first out of 32 plants here. Um, that are, uh, this will be uh, a nice plant ready for sale uh, in April when we have our plant sale. So this is the, uh, the first of at least two of these videos. Uh, I'm also going to um, show you uh, next week uh, a separate video on um, making cuttings of shrubs. And I hope this is helpful in understanding our material.